Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 21st through to the 27th. If I, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so I have all of your cards shuffled and laid out here. My mind just wandered off for a second there. It happens. So uh, let's get to your reading. First off, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, followed then by the Two of Cups upright. Next, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Four of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Queen of Cups in the upright position. Well, your overall energy is the Two of Swords in the reverse position, indicating, Virgo, this week you will be making a decision on something. Now, keep in mind, these are just general reads, so it's different for all of you. Just take what, you know, resonates and makes sense for you. So, the Two of Swords in reverse points back to the Ace of Swords upright, which is an energy that represents having clarity about something, information that we needed in order to make a decision. So it could be if you have been pondering something lately, Virgo, it could be that this week you get the information that you need, especially if you have to make a decision. Now, it could be a decision concerning work, concerning romance, concerning your family, friends, your neighborhood, um, whatever it is, finances, health, what have you. It could be that now you feel comfortable enough because you have enough uh, information now to move forward and to make this decision, a firm decision. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the beautiful Two of Cups in the upright position. This is being on the same page with someone who feels like almost like you're one person. This is known as the twin flame soulmate energy. It's very, very, being very, very connected to someone. Now, although it, you know, generally can represent meeting someone new that becomes uh, like a kindred spirit to you, a, a soulmate to you. But this can also represent, if you're already paired up with somebody, this could be you and your partner, romantic partner, being on the same page about something. It looks like you are making a decision. So it could be that, you know, perhaps you're saying to your husband, your uh, wife, your uh, romantic partner, listen, I've decided to, you know, you fill in the blanks. So... It could be that this is what's going on with you and you are maybe even pleasantly surprised that they are so on board with it. So if it's, uh, I have decided that I want to move from here to there, I want to change jobs and go over there, as opposed to here, I want to take a trip somewhere, I want to, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, this is being on the same page and being very, very happy about it. <clears throat> Now, this could also be a conversation with your best friend. This could be somebody you haven't seen in a while or even that you don't know that well. And then you sit down, have a conversation with them and realize, wow, are we ever on the same page about this or about anything? It could even be, um, you know, meeting somebody and you just click, you just connect with them energetically, emotionally. And you're just like, wow, we're like two people, but we have the same emotions. We have the same heart, the same mind, you know. So interesting and beautiful, beautiful energy. Two of Cups is really, really nice energy. And it's a nice way to start your week. <laughs> um, coming up next, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, this could be uh, somebody coming, you know, swooping into your life very quickly. Perhaps for some of you, this is uh, the connection, the major connection that's going on. For others of you, this could be about important information arriving on the scene. Well, we see you making a firm decision. This can be maybe additional information that comes right at a timely time, you know, right in time or even ahead of time. Because sometimes the Knight of Swords energy can represent coming in ahead of time. It's very rushed out energy. It's It comes in very quickly. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can represent um, 
you know, somebody coming in aggressively with information as well. Sometimes it can be somebody who just really, really um, wants to make their point and uh, you could be having a little bit of a verbal row with the person. For others of you, you know, knights usually bring in some kind of offer. Perhaps this is a written or a verbal offer. So for those of you, say, for example, who have decided to sell something, maybe sold your business, you or, or you put it up for sale, or you you want to put up your house for sale or something like that. This could come, this could be representing like a quick sale offer that comes in right away. For those of you who have been contemplating maybe taking a contract or an offer for a, a different job or a different career, this could be that news and information coming in right away and they want you to sign the contract right away. So it comes in at great speed. Um, you're on the same page with someone else. It looks like it's just everything's falling into place. It's like click, click, click at the beginning of the week. Moving towards the weekend, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse position indicating a return to action. Well, we can definitely see why you would be returning to action with all this speed. Something's coming in and it's just clicking very, very swiftly for you. And it's just making sense to you, Virgo. That's why you've made the, the decision that you have because you have enough information. More information is forthcoming this week and uh, perhaps even an offer. So you need to get out of your slumber and get moving. That's what the Four of Swords in reverse is about. Four of Swords upright is where we're taking a hiatus. We're just sort of laying back. It could be due to illness. It could be due to, uh, you know, low energy, whatever the situation may be. But when it's in reverse, this is where we're snapping. We have to snap back into... Uh, action. The time for rest is over. The time for slumber is over. It's time to get moving and moving quickly because the, the speed of what this offer or this information that comes in Virgo is very, very quick. So you have to take action right away, it looks like. And the last card you have is the Queen of Cups in the upright position. Another court card, this time we're dealing with water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now the Queen of Cups can represent perhaps your spouse. This could be your love interest. This could be um, a family member, a friend, coworker. Um, but sometimes the Queen of Cups can represent speaking with a, a physician, a doctor, um, or a counselor. This is about emotional matters. So this could be, she's like, this energy is known for being very compassionate, caring, understanding, almost sweet at gentle energy. So this could be somebody you are talking to at the end of the week. Say this is a family member or a friend due to the, you have somebody on board with you that whether it's your business partner, your love interest, what have you, you, you are so in perfect sync with somebody about whatever's happening here. So it could be at the end of the week, maybe you need to speak with somebody, it could be a family member, could be a friend, could be your doctor. Um, but the Queen of Cups is someone who's known for great compassion, caring, understanding, emotional maturity. You could even be sort of adopting this energy yourself, Virgo, at the end of the week. You could be that sort of emotional voice of reason to someone, or this is someone that you are speaking to on the emotional matters. Because it looks like you're busy taking care of practical matters, but maybe there is a need for whatever reason to also take into consideration the emotional uh, aspects of things. It could be how it's going to um, affect someone else on the emotional front. Like I said, a family member, a friend, this could be a consulting a doctor, even maybe on a, a physical matter, because sometimes the sword people can represent uh, surgeons and surgery and things like that. But whatever's going on here, it seems like everything is just clicking into place for you. Very happy to see that. Hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Namaste.